Trinidad and Tobago will celebrate, will be celebrating Spiritual Shout of Baptist Liberation Day tomorrow. The holiday is celebrated annually on the 30th of March, and it is said that Trinidad and Tobago is the only country in the world that commemorates the liberation of the Spiritual Shouters Baptist community. Did you hear what I just said? This is the only Trinidad and Trinidad Tobago is the only country in the world that commemorates liberation of the spiritual shouter Baptist community. The, commun the community's faith was banned for over three decades, from 1917 to 1951, in the early 20th century by the colonial government. So they couldn't practice, they couldn't practice. The spiritual Baptist faith is one, one that is indigenous to the, this country, that is, and is a religion with element of Protestant Christianity and African doctrines and rituals. Okay, go ahead. Our spiritual names are on the whole are given when we go through the exercise of mourning, which is praying and fasting in seclusion. We are given spiritual gifts and with those gifts we are given titles. And so my title as Mother Nen would have originated from my journey, one of my spiritual journeys. Um, my name Queen would have been bestowed upon me when I became an, a traditional elder in the house of Sankofa. And my name Elect Lady was also bestowed upon me when I took up that position in the diocese, the archdiocese to which I belong which is International Spiritual Baptist Ministerial Council. To understand Baptist spirituality, spirituality, we have to go to the Holy Spirit. Yes? Because that is where it all originates. You know, there's a lot of myth concerning spiritual Baptists and the way we worship. And anything that is unknown to man, man fears and man will, will create all kinds of stories. But spiritual Baptist spirituality is based on the Holy Spirit. We, we depend on God for direction. 